Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jung Lo, the owner of a Jung Lo Cage Fighting Series. Number eight, it's going down May 20 at the heart of San Francisco Keys Art Pavilion. Here we go, we have Deja Vu, Sumit Paul, back in action. You know, uh, let's run it again, and uh, you just fought two and a half weeks ago. Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. I just saw you, man. Just did the interview. It feels like <laughs> this one, this one. I know, right? Like that, man. A few weeks ago. Deja so now, uh, what, what, what's your thought on your performance on the last fight? Yeah, you know, it, was, it wasn't my night. It was, it was a frustrating, frustrating night. Frustrating, uh, you know, a few days leading up to the fight. It just everything I was kind of dealing with. Mm -hmm. um, you know, credit credit to my opponent, Aaron. You know, he came in there, he fought, he did what he had to do. Uh, he's a tricky fighter. You know, as I said before the fight, I kind of knew that he was coming in there with some weird kicks, <laughs> some movement. Uh, you know, also he, some karate. Some and karate. Stuff. It's unusual. You know, I haven't really, I haven't really fought anyone like that. I haven't really sparred anyone like that. That little front snap kick he's throwing out there was, it was <laughs> interesting. <laughs> uh, you know, it was it was a tough, it was a tough fight. You know, but. Uh, fortunately, I'm, I'm good. I'm healthy. I didn't take any damage whatsoever. I was back in the gym training. Uh, you know, I know you got this neck card coming up. I want it on it, so you know we're back. Well, I think the best way to do it is keep it busy. Yeah, keep don't busy. take any break right, and yeah. just keep it going. You know, right. and it's crazy. Some of the, sometimes I see some of the fighters, even the amateur guys, that they only fight like once a year, twice a year. Yeah, you know, yeah. like amateurs, man, put it, get it in there, man. Yeah. So that's. There's something you can learn and train in the gym is the experience. Right, right. You know, under the spotlight and perform and show what you have at the gym, you know? Yeah. So now, what would you do differently if you're ever running into Aaron again? I, well, for sure, you know, that's the thing with these fights, they're so damn quick, man. You get in there, you got like, what, two, three minutes, uh, yeah. depending on the amateur fight. You got to work, you know, you got to get in there and you got to be active, you got to throw. And, and that's the frustrating thing because like, I, I train hard, I put in a lot of work and and I know, I know the kind of skills I got. I know what I'm capable of, of being able to do in, in the cage for sure. Uh, and even in this fight, you know, regardless of how I felt physically, mentally, you know, none of that shit matters. You get in the cage, you know, the rest of this fight, you fight. And same with this fight, you know, the rest of the fight. And honestly, like, I felt good. Everything was great at that moment. And uh, even during the fight, you'll see, like, I was kind of pressuring him. I was moving him down and mm -hmm. it's kind of creating opportunities to, to attack and fight. And, right. and that was kind of the problem is I just didn't let loose. And I didn't throw what I wanted to throw and, and fight the way I wanted to fight or certainly the way I trained to fight, you know, and um, again, the, the nature of these fights are so quick. You know, you got a minute, you got two minutes to work. A uh, guy kind of takes you down and holds you for a minute. Before you know it, the round's over and, you know, you're losing on the points. And, uh, and that's, that's all it is, you know, get in there and fight, do what you got to do. So now um, your, your opponent, <clears throat> Bryson Davis, yeah. at Trains and Tennis Planet in Daly City, um, if, I mean, logically, if he's watching your fight, studying your fight yeah. from your last fight, yeah. he might try to copy and paste, and you know, that's probably makes sense for him. Yeah, you know, and he watching how Aaron's to, to get that W's basically kind of like snap a little bit and boom, go for the right, takedown. Right, so, right. Well, how do you prepare for prizes? Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, keep working on my wrestling. You know, get a lot of work work up on the on the wall, some cage, uh, you know, clinching and all that. Um, but I, I feel pretty confident, you know, at range, at distance. I got a lot of movement, as you know. I'm, I'm moving around the cage, yes, forward, yes. switching stances, and uh, uh, I feel good, you know, defensively getting away from the, the grappling exchanges and the wrestling. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it's about it's about imposing your will, get in there, fighting your fight, you know. So uh, at the end of the day, that's that's the thing that I got to focus on is 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 my own game, my own self, you know. And uh, that's what I'm looking forward to, you know, coming up for this fight. Um, but yeah, he's he's a, he's a good grappler from what I've heard, from what I've been hearing. From he's a blue belt so, under yeah. tech planet. So how do you prepare for him besides probably do more wrestling and yeah. you probably work on more jujitsu against him? Absolutely, you know. I mean, that's all it is. You know, you're in the gym, you're training, you're working on on improving your game mm -hmm. in every in every facet. You know, it's striking and the jujitsu. Uh, for this fight, yeah, maybe we'll get a little bit more working with the jujitsu for sure. Uh, work on that grappling, work on our escapes and our on our on our get ups and our sweeps. Uh, but again, you know, just kind of what I've been saying, you know, I've had four, four fights now, so yeah, I'm kind of learning every time I'm in there and it, it's just kind of part of the process and a part of the journey and, and I'm understanding a lot more. I mean, I'll tell you what, this last fight, I've never felt that comfortable in there. You know, like I mentioned how crazy it is when you're in that cage. It yeah, feels like yeah, it's yeah. just so chaotic and, and there's not a lot of time to think. And that was the thing. I was in the cage this last fight. I've never been this, uh, like mindful and, and present and, and during a fight. And I think that was part of the problem too, is I think I kind of like overthought when I was in there, just overthinking and 
you know, moving around and, and being aware of like, all right, I'm getting these opportunities, I'm pushing them back, uh, let me throw something here. And then I would think, you know, too long, one second, two second, three second, then they would come back and respond and, and attack. So uh, that's another thing that's been on my head is, is finding that balance of, you know, being, being mindful, but also just reacting and fighting and going. Not overly thinking. Not overly thinking. You know, that's it's, it's just so unusual because other fights I was in there and it was I didn't have time to think. I was in there fighting, <laughs> I was just reacting. These guys are coming at you kind of hard, right? Right, right. This fight was so different. I'm in there. I'm feeling good. I, as I said, I've never felt like that before. So you know, working on getting that balance when I'm in there and and making those adjustments, and and that's what I'm looking forward to. As I said, for this next fight. Well, you're getting more comfortable. Comfortable. That's a good thing because yeah. eventually. Someday you will do pro fight. Yeah. Pro fight it's a five minutes. Five minutes, yeah. You and make it work. make it a lot different. Your cardio, you have to learn how to pace. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, sometimes people that jump into the pro a little bit too soon and too quick kind of backfire on them because yeah. those five minutes it doesn't seems a lot. Sounds like only five minutes. But five minutes <laughs> in the cage we look like <laughs> tell someone don't tell them to get in there, man. See how it is. Give it two minutes, man. You kind of <laughs> Yeah, uh, so I like, can imagine the five minutes. Yeah, yeah. so oh, that was two minutes goes by fast, uh, goes by fast, yeah, and, yeah. It, and you get hanging out in the coffee shop, but it yeah. doesn't go fast. Someone's trying to kill you. Someone's trying to hurt you. It's, it's a whole different game, you know. So yes, believe that. <laughs> when you're watching Bryson Davis' yeah. last fight, what do you see yourself having a advantage on him? Uh man, it just it goes back to what I always say. You know, I'm always confident in my in my abilities and my skills. I know I train hard. I know I put in the work. And I know I put in the work to be a well-rounded fighter, you know, and it's not just the technical skill, but it's about showing up in shape, showing up ready, physically ready to go. Um, I feel good generally at this weight class, as I mentioned too, I feel strong, I feel like I'm always in good shape, my endurance is there, my, my muscle endurance and stamina, it's all good. Um, so, so I feel confident, you know, if you put me in there with anyone, I'm going to feel confident, you know, it's no different. So. Uh, but he's a skilled guy too. I, I, I watched a little bit of the fight. I think he was on the card I was on in November. Mm -hmm. uh, he had a good win. You know, he, he went in there and, and, and fought his fight. He uh, fought against the kickboxer guy. He fought, yeah, yeah. And he was pushing forward, I noticed. He was getting yeah. him up, backed up on the cage and, and imposing his will. You know, that's what you got to do, as I said. So uh, it's an exciting matchup. You know, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a fun one. <laughs> that's awesome. Now, again, if people want to get a hold of you, uh, Sumit, how can people contact you? Yeah, you can hit me up on Instagram. It's uh, Sumit underscore Paul at 650. You know, it's kind of crazy. I still remember this moment when I first met you yeah. about a year ago or something. A year plus. And right. you're like, I don't have any social media. Any social media. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Definitely. I think you need to get one as yeah, become yeah. a public yeah. figure. That's and right. Finally got an Instagram. Finally got to set up. I'm on there, man. Hit me up. You know, check it out. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, and you always got a good support system. Every time you show up. Every time. You always got a large group of teammates. And, a, and you have yeah. personal training too, right? Yeah, yeah. So I, I know a lot of people. I got a lot of friends. I got family. Uh, man, the support I get from these guys is incredible. You know, every time I always say it, it means a lot. It means everything to me. Um, so I'm thankful for that, and uh, it'll be no different for this fight. You know, they'll be there. They'll be. They'll be helping me out. And these special people you want to shout out to for this? I. Uh, they know who they are, man. I, I got some real special people in my life. I always mention it. Uh, for sure, my family. You know, uh, giving me, giving me their support and putting up with me fighting and training and, and getting. And, you know, I know they don't love it. They don't love me getting in there and getting hit and and you know the danger of it all and, and the risk that comes with it. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I know they love me and I love them so. Um, it's all love at the end of the day, and same with my 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 team, everyone at my gym. Same thing, you know. Just always putting in work. We've been we've been grinding so hard, especially since my first fight in the last year. Um, I'm thankful for them for sure, and uh, and then all my friends, man. You guys know who you are, so thank you so much. That's pretty awesome. Now, if Bryson Davis watching this interview, yeah, what do you have to say to Bryson? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm appreciate you taking this fight. You know, I'm looking forward to it. Hope you train hard, train right, uh, and show up healthy. You know, I think we're going to have a really fun fight, put on a good show for the fans. So uh, I'm looking forward to it, man. Let's get it. That's pretty awesome. You know, uh, now, uh, uh, I, every time I interview, I always ask the same thing. You know, uh, you're a 135 pound fighter. Yeah. What do you walk around with? Like? Right walking now? around probably 145, I think. You don't cut. I don't cut. I don't cut. I don't cut. I don't, I'm leading you around. I'm, I'm always in shape. What are, you, um, what are your secret sauce on, on your diet? What's your secret diet? Secret sauce. <laughs> There's no secret. There's no secret man. Uh, I, eat, I eat pretty clean, you know, for the most part. I, I enjoy myself too. You know, I, I take time to, to eat some good food. I like eating good food, don't get me wrong. 
But a lot of it's too, just I put in work. I, I don't ever just sit on my ass. I don't take days off too much. Extended breaks like a lot of these guys do. I've been fortunate. I've been very healthy as well. You know, even with taking all these fights, even with training as hard as I do, I really haven't gotten any big major injuries. I've been able to continuously train and put in work. Uh, literally, the only time I take off is, is when I travel, is if I'm going out of, out, of, out of town or something like that. That's pretty um, awesome. Beyond that, man, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle for sure. Training, eating well, taking care of myself. So that's all it is, you know. Do you stick on like a low carb diet? And like, nah, nah, you need, you need carbs, man. How you gonna work out without without that energy? Without you just burn them off. I burn it all. I work out. You know, you get two sessions in a day. You're moving around. As a trainer, I'm very active as well. So right, right. just burning calories all day long. So. Uh, so you don't really have to look out for like a, what kind of carbs and then you uh, just eat whatever. Nice. I wouldn't say whatever, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I don't, I don't watch, I don't go crazy with it either. You know, I, 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 eat, I eat generally uh, healthy whole foods and try to balance it out. Uh, How many meals a day do you eat? Do you eat? Most of the time, I generally just kind of eat two meals a day. You know, but it's, they tend to be big meals for sure. Yes. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll throw in some other stuff too if I'm hungry. Man, if those days when I just get the two in there, they're definitely big meals, I'll say that. That's <laughs> but you know, it works for me. Everyone's got different different bodies and different styles and different training methods and, and how they approach it. So uh, it's it's what works for me. You know, I get, I get my work in, I show up ready and in shape for the most part. So it just depends, you know? That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Well, as I'm getting older, you know, I try to do more meals, smaller meals, smaller to trigger the metabolism a little yeah. bit faster. Like, if I eat two big meals and move around, sometimes they don't go. Yeah. The calories are staying there. Yeah, stay, you know? yeah, so yeah. it's a kind of little different. But uh, hey, here's a little bit of good tip for all the fans That's out there right. that don't relate to fighting, but really do a little bit of fitness. Listen to the fighting. <laughs> you know, some idea. You know? Eat clean and hopeful, you know. Yeah, no like junk food, stay away from sugar. Yeah. You know, Sugar's definitely the one, yeah. sugar is the one. Sugar is the one to stay away from. Right? Yeah, that that's a that's a silent killer, yeah, right there. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, now do you still having nobody under your radar that you want to fight in the future? No, yeah, I'd like to get some of these fights back. You know, some of these guys want to fight. That'd be cool to rematch them. You know, these are all honestly they're all cool guys. You know, we chop it up after the fight. They're all, they're all pretty chill and friendly. Uh, so who cool. do you want to run it back the most? Uh, run it, run it back the most. Uh, Man, I'd love to fight Juan again, dude. Juan's a cool guy, you know, one of my <laughs> stars. He's a chill guy, I love Juan, man. He's so cool. Uh, he's he's such a he's a skilled guy. He's really, really a good fighter, and I respect him a lot. I respect his skill and his talent. Uh, one of these days, man, if me and him can get in there and do it again, I think that'd be really fun. Uh, but of course, the last fight too, Aaron, me and him someday, if we need running back, that'd be fun as well. So, uh, <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I'll keep yeah. that in mind. Keep it in mind. Keep, keep that, that in mind. mind. He's got to get healthy, go on, you know, get your get your get your stuff right. We've messed it a little bit. He's, he's a little hurt, but I'd like to see him back in there too. So, uh, good luck to you, bro. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Well, look forward to May 20. It's going to be another huge stack card, another pay per view event on the book. And making sure you guys uh, subscribe my YouTube channel, show me some love and support, follow me on Instagram, and then uh, follow the fighter. Get a ticket directly from him, give him some love and support. And uh, it's another, another huge stack card. And then also, not to mention, Dragon House MMA, we have a huge grappling, uh, a no-gi submission grappling on April 16th is our new location, grand opening celebration event. So making sure you guys um, register on DragonHouseMMA.com, gi and no-gi. So uh, it will be a good turnout. A lot of white belt, up to brown belt, black belt. So a lot of high-level competition there. Making sure you guys signed up. And uh, we'll see you guys May 20, another huge stack MMA fight card going down. We are updating the uh, fight card matchup this summer, uh, this upcoming weekend. So making sure you guys stay tuned. Any last word you want to say to anyone out there? Uh, no. Thank you again, bro. Appreciate All right. It. We'll Love see you guys. As always, May 20. So. May 20. We're getting back to Sumit Paul. I'm Joe Lowe signing out. See you guys.